The ride-sharing company Uber is doubling down on Canada. Uber just announced an expansion of its artificial intelligence research in Toronto and revealed plans to open a separate engineering lab. CBC's senior business reporter Jacqueline Hansen has been following this announcement. What are the details of Uber's plans, Jacqueline? Well, uh, dollar-wise, Rejmi, this is looking like a $200 million investment over about five years. And the company says that it's planning to hire a couple of hundred more people in the city. So it has about 200 employees here in Toronto currently. It plans to increase that to more than 500 over the next couple of years. Some of the hiring, they expect it will be done locally with local talent, uh, but it also plans to offer its other Uber, Uber engineers elsewhere in the world to move to Toronto if they uh, they like the look of the city, as John was just talking about, um, but also recruiting um, globally as well. So trying to really focus on that diverse workforce. Now, part of today's announcement, well, there's two parts of it. So part of it uh, is a new engineering lab that it's planning to open here. So initially, that will work on developing the sort of capacity capacity of Uber's platform. So partially the back-end infrastructure of it, um, but also what modes of transportation Uber might in the future be able to connect people to. So here's a bit from the CEO today in the press conference describing what the new lab will do. This engineering center we think is going to help us further build state-of-the-art uh, state Uber transportation platform. Uh, the talent that we'll hire here is going to support our efforts to bring together multiple modes of transportation. Again, not just about cars, but different ways of getting around uh, in a city. So he said they're not just about cars, so potentially matching riders to drivers, but also pulling in bikes, maybe scooters, public transit options. So just trying to uh, hook people up with the most efficient potentially a uh, way to get to where they want to go. Um, so, Reshmi, the second part of this plan, though, is about their driverless cars and research into that, that it's already doing here in Toronto. It's going to invest more in that research. Uh, this is the only research centre for driverless cars that Uber has that's outside of the U.S. in Canada. So they're, uh, they're going to be uh, expanding that.